Yo, 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 yo. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. We back with another video. We back in Memphis, y'all. Yeah, that part. Because there's still a lot of smoke going on down in Memphis, and we got to talk about it. So we back down in Dolphland, man. And my question is to the to the people that own, the people and the female that ran to the news reporter act like she was there. You see the title. Where's the employees at? Why we haven't got no answers to them? Why we ain't getting no interviews or nothing? So before we even start this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, keep your notification bell, but most importantly, smash the like button. It's free. It ain't going to cost you. That part. Excuse me. So we back in Memphis because I got to come. Oh, yeah. Before we even start, man, shout out to my Knicks. Yeah. Shout out to my New York Knicks. We did it. It was a hard game yesterday. Pause, but we won that game. Shout out to my boy, JB, Jalen Bronson. We on to the second round, man. We playing Indiana, man. We going to the Eastern Conference Finals, man. We see Boston when we get there, but that's another topic. Let's get back to this Dolphland, man. So the reason why I'm making this video again, the reason why I continue talking about this, let me say that, not even again, I continue talking about it because we still need some answers and we got questions. We giving y'all these questions. Where's the employee at, lady? Meaning cookie girl. Where are the employee that was at the cookie shop when the ambush happened during the, during the Dolph situation? They seen something, heard something. We haven't got no type of information, no statement, nothing. That part, am I lying? Memphis, tap in. And before we continue, man, let's get this copyright fair use disclaimer out the way. Copyright fair use disclaimer, you can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on is for educational entertainment purpose. Again, copyright fair use disclaimer, you can find that on this channel. Everything that I speak on is for educational and entertainment purpose. And the clips and videos I play are also owned by the original creators. Let's get that out the way, man. Because we got a lot of things we're going to talk about here. We're going to go back down memory lane. Because we got people saying they seen two cars pulled up. Like I told y'all, I still believe it was an ambush. Niggas came from the front and the back poles. We got a witness. We're going to go back and play that clip. We're going to go back and hear what the cookie girl had to say that she wasn't even there. It's been several years and we still haven't heard not one statement or one interview or nothing from the employees that was actually at the cookie shop when this actually happened. Who took Dolph order? Who took the order and went back to the back of the shop? Because obviously she didn't get shot because the or he or she, because she wasn't in the front of the store when the ambush happened. So she had to have walked to the back. What are we talking about here? Am I lying? Hold on, let me go back and rewind a little bit. The person that took Dolph order, where are you at? You had to take that order and walk your ass right back in, right between that, right back in that white door. Yeah, this part. Yeah, this part. Right in that white door, and you went right back. So obviously, you didn't get hit. Because you wasn't, Dolph got hit, his brother didn't get hit, but the, the employee didn't get hit. So who was the employees? Because when you go back to memory lane with the cookie girl, she said there was employees in there, right? Family member is such and such employees. But then when you hear the witness also saying that it was two cars that pulled up. So like I told you, that's a lot of foolery going on. The cookie girl ran with that first narrative and let that shit marinate in everybody's brain for a couple months. And they had everybody believing that until people started questioning it. And then, man, smash that like button before we continue. Make sure y'all like that smoke up, man. That part. And another thing, body language. We're going to go back a couple of clips, and we're going to play a Dolph clip where you actually ran up on him with excitement. Your energy was a, your energy was on a honey. You were so excited, you wanted to take a video with Dolph outside your shop. And we can't see you behind your little camera, whatever, your phone, whatever, but we can hear the excitement in you. That part, what are we talking about here? And all of a sudden, you do these interviews, your body language is different, no type of emotion, no feelings, no tears, nothing. Let's go back so y'all can understand what I'm talking about. Smash that like button. Say so you came to get some wood. All I came to get some Makita. Makita cook. Get the side. Get the side. Come back around there. Come back around there. Yes. Right what you got? Chocolate yes. chill. Don't hot, hot. Straight out the oven. Just for you. Appreciate you, baby. Be safe.
Say you can't get some what? Because all I came for is to get some Makita. Oh, Makita, get the cook. Side. Get the side. Get the side. Get the side. Come back around here. Come back around there. Yes, these right here. What you got? Chocolate yes. chill. Don't hot, hot. Straight out the oven. Just for you. Appreciate you, baby. Be safe. Yeah. Now, y'all hear her voice. This is the cookie lady. It's the cookie girl. You hear her voice, a little excited and all that. Now, y'all remember, hold up. We're going to go back down memory lane. We're going to go back down memory lane. Give me one second. Give me one second. Because she wanted a video with dolls. Y'all remember in an interview when she joined the other platforms? Yeah, you know, my mom said, go take a picture with Dolph. I said, nah, better yet. Let me go run out there and take a video with her, mom. This is exactly what she said. So you ran out there to take a video with Dolph. So obviously, Dolph wasn't really rocking with you like that. I'm starting to believe Dolph knew that you was rocking with his ops and all that stuff. I'm starting to believe that Dolph knew that you wasn't a, a real family employee like you was you had your hands in the streets also and you was doing a family business meaning that Dolph seen that in you that's why Dolph probably didn't play you too close the way you thought that he was supposed to play you close or the way that you saying it in these platforms I'm starting to think that that you didn't like him because remember you be trying to become a manager and try to get one of these little rappers out there on you went to Miami. Remember you said the story? You went to Miami. You went down there for audition for your little for your little rap or whatever you got out there. Trigger Trey, whatever his name is. Memphis, tap in. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So who was we to know that you sent some demos or some music, some type of music to Dolph when he was alive and he dubbed you? And you probably felt some type of way to this day, to the day that he passed away. Meaning what I'm trying to say is you might have sent him some music of your artist and he wasn't feeling it. Didn't respond back or nothing. And, and it got you mad. Because remember, she was a, a manager of Trigger Trey. That part. What are we talking about here? You telling me managers don't be getting their feelings hurt when they be dishing out the music and, and these and these and these and labels and certain or local labels. They, I mean, that shit trash. We ain't really rocking with that. You don't think they heartbeat broke. They don't think they be butter. She was broke. Her heart was broke when possibility, allegedly, everything I speak on is alleged. I'm starting to think that you probably sent some music out to own um, PRE and they dubbed you. Because how you don't got no emotional feelings, no tears or nothing when this actually happened inside your family shop? No tears or nothing. You done did balls talk one on one. You done did all types of interviews. And we're going to go through it a little bit. But my whole question is, why is you doing this? I'm starting to think this. You had your hands in them streets, girl. Alleged. You was messing with his ops on the music tip because you was trying to be a manager and trying to bring one of your dudes up. What are we talking about here? PRE dubbed you. Alleged. Everything I speak on is allegedly. But if you put everything together, that's when it started to see because somebody don't show no type of emotional feelings and you a civilian. You supposed to be a civilian and you don't show no type of emotion when this man got ambushed in your shop. And he the only artist in that town that actually showed love to that shop. Something wrong with that picture. You had to have some type of hate, something. It was something. Something that, that us people don't know. And I'm trying to figure it out. And I'm starting to think that either you try to gave him some music and PRE dubbed you. And you've been rocking with his ops. And you've always been cool with certain niggas that he don't rock with. That part. Let's continue, man. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? We could never mm -hmm. want to take that away. Mm -hmm. He was here. Why would we want that gone? Yeah. Instead, mm -hmm. Even if he wasn't supporting them, why would we want to hurt another human being? You see what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Yeah, we just, we just cookies. We baking cookies. We ain't no killers over here. This ain't no... You know, I own it right there. You know, because right. you know, that video that I made that people are claiming it was done a week before was not. That's not accurate. I did that video in July, oh, and girl. he told me, you know, putting orders like, in. Come outside with me. I'm Talking about dogs. Real quick, you know. So he the one told me to do the video. Oh, that's when y'all bought the truck. Yeah, it was back in before. July. You know. Now I want y'all to think hard. Pause. 
let this marinate what she just said. She said Dolph told her, he she said he wanted me to do the video in July. This happened in July. This video right here. Say you can't get some wood. Video right there. Remember, he passed away several months later in what, November? Right? He, what are we talking about? But then again, when she was on a platform, on a YouTube platform, on the one that she's a, a mod at, y'all know what I'm talking about, where she at? She said in her own mouth, pause, that she told her mother, better yet, let me go out there and get a video for us or for you, either one, it don't even matter. But she told her mother, better yet, let me run out there and get a video for you. And I'm lying, what are we talking about here? So anybody been following my story, this story, been following her, y'all know what I'm talking about when she was on that YouTube platform and the first time when she joined and, and, and that dude interviewed her, the nigga that owned the platform, when she said that, her mother was like, yo, you should have got a picture with him. She said, no, better yet, let me run out there and get a video for us. But look what she said on this one, though. Because that video that I made that people are claiming was done a week before, was not, that's not accurate. I did that video in July. Uh, and he girl, told me, you know, putting he orders like, in. come outside with me. I'm talking about dogs. Real quick, you know, so he the one told me to do the video. Oh, that's when y'all buy the truck. Yeah, it was back in July. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And he said, post that something right there. Everybody know where y'all at. And when I post it on our page, people start back to back. Back to back. That, that exact date. So he was like, he already said that's what he wanted anyway. Because he was like, I mess with y'all, man. I want y'all all over the world. That's what he said. You know what I'm saying? Put your order in. So, it shipped nationwide. You know, it's a Worldwide. Because he was the only rapper that really came in there. Did nobody with a big name. Now, y'all heard her. She said that Dolph told her, better yet, come outside, I'll give you a video. But then on the platform, in the beginning when this happened, for a person that wasn't even at the goddamn scene, she said at this moment, at this video, Say you can't get some wood. That video with Dolph outside, she told, said on the platform, she told her mother, better yet, let me run outside and get a video for us. Because her mother said, why you ain't take a picture? I'm not making this up. This came out, out of her mouth. If anybody been following, come on, everybody been following this doll situation, been following her. So if y'all don't, y'all don't know what's going on, do y'all little research, go back to her first interview on that platform that she joined, and you'll see what I'm talking about. If they didn't take that goddamn video down. That part. <laughs> Who's lying? What's going on here? Why are you like, my thing is mine. Why are you ran to the news reporter? Because you didn't want them employees to talk. And then I'm starting to think, was there even employees in the back anyway? Because we get videos of people. We've seen a little video. We've seen two or three employees and all that. But were they in the back in that shop during that time? That's my question. Because it's a back door, nigga. You could run out the back door, nigga. You know what I mean? You run, come on. It could be. A setup is basically what I'm trying to say. Backdoor, allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. Because it just doesn't make no sense why we haven't got an interview for nobody that worked there during the ambush. Am I tripping? No, I'm not. I know I'm not. Because anybody that be anywhere during a, a murder scene, they're going to get interviewed. But why the employees didn't get interviewed? That was why, who the person that took the order? How did Mom Deuce know that he ordered strawberry cookies or whatever, whatever? So somebody had to take the goddamn order. Where y'all at? Who, who are you? Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel because I don't know what y'all waiting on. Let's continue, man. I got a phone call from my dad. He was in the store. He's one of the owners. And uh, he just told us that somebody was shot. We didn't know who it was at first. You know, we was just like, okay, I thought it was, you know, one of the employees. So we was kind of distraught at the time. But, you know, we heard my cousin in the background, you know, he was just basically like, man, he gone. Somebody shot him. He gone. And I'm like, who gone? You know, we just tried to figure out what was going on. And then you can hear my dad, you know, he was just like, stay with me, dog. Just stay with me, brother. You know, he kept saying it. So that's when we was like, okay, it was dog. So it was, it was kind of... It was real fast. He said it was my, my dad was just like it was real fast. It was a real quick situation. So we we real hurt by it. 
Uh, he was a real, you know, good dude. He came to the store all the time. You know, when he came, when he was in Memphis, McHugh's was one. When he was in Memphis, McHugh's. That's not even a damn shop name. She can't even pronounce it at that time. You know why? Because she's so goddamn nervous. Number one. Number two. Who sent you to go talk to that news reporter? Who the hell paid you to go talk to that news reporter? And why are you even talking? You wasn't even a goddamn scene. That news reporter wondering why you even talking. You wasn't even there. Where is the employees at? I'm going to continue saying this because everybody want to do And let me tell y'all something. For everybody that do this Dolph situation with the paperwork and all that stuff, shout out to y'all. But this is my exact, this is exactly what I'm about to put this little icing on the cake on this. Pause, because the reason why, if everybody, these YouTubers that do the paperwork, I don't rock with the paperwork. That's, the, that's too much. I give you my opinion. I paint the picture. That's what we do over here. I don't do the paperwork and all that's. That's being put. Now, I mean, listen, that's they lane. That's what they do. Whatever's floating a boat getting money, like salute to y'all niggas and, and she's whatever. Hers and because females doing that shit too with this paperwork thing. My thing, what I'm trying to say is they would have been got paperwork on the employees that was that was working at the shop making a statement. We haven't got that yet. So shout out to all my paperwork channels, whatever, because they would have been got their hands on that. Meaning that what I'm trying to say is the cookie shop employees would have made a statement. Eventually, these paperwork people that get their hands on it would have got that. They would have got their hands on that. It would have been on the internet by now. Am I lying? What are we talking about here? So who are y'all? Where y'all at? And why y'all not talking? Y'all was there. Y'all done heard the shots, seen the shots, everything. What are we talking about here? If y'all didn't see it, who the person that took the order? Because the only way they're not going to interview if you under 18 years old, man. You got to be teenager. They can't show your face. They don't want to interview. They don't want to. They could do that. But everybody worked there, obviously, was over 18 or 21 and better. Smash that like button, man. Make sure y'all commenting below, too. Make sure y'all comment. Y'all know the vibes. Let's continue. Store all the time, you know, when he, when he was in Memphis. McHugh's was one of his stops, you know, so it's uh, it's really turning us down a little bit. We just we pray for the family, you know. You know how when somebody pronounce a word wrong and they catch themselves later, they're like, "Oh no, so I mean, I mean, they say they, I don't want to say this the, the, the cookie shop name, but y'all know the cookie shop name. Y'all just heard it. She didn't even fix her so her mistake." Yeah, somebody sent her to go talk to that news reporter, bro. Or somebody, this was already set up for her to get there and run to the news reporter. That part. Because there's no, re let's go back to it. She didn't even go back and mistake the goddamn name of her shop. She called them the cues. When somebody do that, what that mean, y'all? They nervous. Body language nervous. Ain't showing no emotion. Nothing. What are we talking about here? Are you supposed to be a civilian? How many civilians places we seen and people get murdered? Are they down, they crying like they knew the person. No, they crying because they never seen nothing like that before. Or they crying because it happened inside a goddamn shop. Let's go back. She didn't even go back and mistake her damn. She stumbled over her damn shop shop name. She didn't even go back and fix it. Let's go. Let's go back. Let's continue. Smash that like button. Store all the time, you know, when he when he was in Memphis. McHugh's was one of his stops, you know, so it's uh, it's really turning us down a little bit. We just we pray for the family, you know. It's it's a senseless tragedy. We just really want them to know that we back them 100 percent, and um, we just really want, you know, we really just wish this would just stop. This is just too much for us, you know. So it's really it's affecting our family now because we do consider dog. You know, anytime you walk into there, you know, walk into McKee's, you consider family. When Dolph came here, he was considered a family. He called my mama, mom, every time she came in. You know, I mean, it's just, it's, it's hurting us a little bit. So we just, just. Were you, so your dad, your, you were on the phone with your dad when it happened? I was on, it wasn't when it happened. It was right after. He called us, like, directly after, you know, the, the shots were fired and Dolph was hit. And you can hear him saying, Dolph, stay with me. Yeah, you heard him say that, and he was just, man, it's, it's a lot. Everyone's talking about how much you love Makita. So. He did. He did a lot.
he was uh my I got a video with him. He was telling us, you know, saying every time I come here, I can't I can't leave without getting some chocolate chip and you like fresh out the oven. This 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 it. So chocolate chip and ice cream was his favorite. So um oh, yeah, wow. we gonna so Was it know. inside of your store or right outside? Well from what I was hearing, it was inside the store. It was He got ambush. I keep telling y'all, he got ambushed. His brother, on the other hand, we don't know where the hell his brother was at. In the car, in the shop with him. I'm starting to think his brother was in a goddamn car and he choked, he froze up. Because if you was in the shop, he had to be in the corner over here. Poor man. If, you were, if his brother was in the shop, gang, Dolph died right here to the left with them chairs at. You see where them two chairs at to the left over here? With with, with the two chairs where it say close at, where the sign say close. That's what Dolph died at. Right where that garbage with the window at, and right on top where it say close. That's what Dolph died at because he died right exactly across from the white door. Look, that's the white door, right? That's the white door, right? He died right across from there, right? That's the door that takes you to the restroom and the goddamn back of the cookie shop. What are we talking about here? Look. His brother had to be either in one of these corners right here ducking the shots. What are we talking about here? Or he went behind the goddamn counter. Because remember when they said Dolph walked off? So Dolph had to walk off because the counter is over here where they say open at. You see the sign say open? That's what Dolph was over there ordering his goddamn cookies. Allegedly, because we don't even know if he was ordering cookies. Remember when she said that Dolph took a took a phone call? Remember when her brother did an interview with another platform dude? You could go to my old videos. I got that up. You could go check that out. Do your own research. Her and her brother, well, alleged brother, whatever the hell to do is related to her cousin and brother. They both said that Dolph took a phone call and walked off. So he had to walk off over here, right where that white door at. You see where the white door at, right? He had to walk off right where the white door at. And that's where he got hit at. Boom, right across on that white door. And them niggas came from the front of the shop. Make it make sense. That's why I say he got ambushed. Where's the goddamn employees at that was in the shop? Who took the goddamn order? This white door right here comes right across where Dolph got hit at. What are we talking about here? Why the upper windows didn't get shattered? Why the only bottom windows got shattered like they were just hitting, hitting them from the bottom, from the waist down, from the chest down? Hold up. Oh, yeah, I got the pictures. Now, look. You see them got the gun waved up, but they waving it like they waving down. They not waving up. They waving like they, like they waving like they shooting down towards the window. Right here. So when he somebody had to hit him from the inside for him to fall, and they and they kept hitting him while he was falling, that part from the outside, from outside the window. <laughs> My boy got ambushed, man. He got ambushed. They came through the back of that goddamn door. Dolph took the order right there where they say open the sign. That's the counter. He took the order right with this dude right here standing. He took that order. He in that whole little angle right there. He walked off to the left where they say close at by the door. That's when he uh, that's when the whole ambush happened. That's an easy hit. Somebody could easily open that door, hit him a couple of times, and these niggas pulled up at the same time. And then you got straight drop, allegedly, that I don't think it would. I don't now listen. You got them niggas pulling up at the same time. It was an ambush at the right moment. They timed it. And everything that I speak on is a legend, educational entertainment purpose. But y'all get what I'm trying to say here? Y'all dig? Y'all smell me? Smash that like button. My boy took the order, took the phone call, allegedly is what we hearing, and he got ambushed right where that white door at. I'm proving it to y'all right here. Look where the window at and look where the white door at. He got ambushed from the back and the front. Pause. And if his brother was in there, his brother had to been in the corner over there with a with a sign say open it. Ducking, trying to find a hideout to get up out of there.
It's like they knew Dolph was going to take that phone call. Because if his brother, I'm about to go back and show y'all this. If his brother, it's like they knew he was going to take the phone call because he was going to walk off towards that door. His brother was to the right over there where they say open that over there with a sign at. There's no other way I could think of this. Is he his brother was on that corner over there or he was in the car when all this happened? But they timed it when Dolph allegedly took that phone call, like they said, Cookie Girl and her brother. They timed it. He took the phone call, walked towards down there. That's that's just body language. Everybody does that. When you take a phone call, you just walk off in your home. That's body language. That's just, just natural. That's what we do. It's the norm. Y'all telling me when whole, females and niggas, when y'all with y'all friends and somebody call y'all, what y'all do? Y'all walk off, right? Exactly. Exactly. Dolph walked off right in front of that white white on door, and that's when they ambushed him. They, they timed that shit perfect. But the whole thing is, who was calling Dolph at that time and at that moment? That part. Is they going to bring that in court? Is these employees going to testify in court and take the stand and say what they heard if they was even there? Is the ploy that took the order? That's a lot of questions and we need answers. Smash that like button. Oh yeah, we ain't done. It was some niggas that pull up and just just let out over 50 shots. I'm talking about busting. I'm talking about I'm standing. We want to go down there, baby. I'm, we sit, we at the shells and shit. And me and my baby getting out the car. And I'm talking about before I even got to the door, uh, the shells though open up the door and shit. Bah, bah, I'm talking about all you hear gunshots. So I'm looking. Come here. I'm grabbing my baby to see where they coming from and shit. I'm looking and see that it's over at the washer that I was just at yesterday and shit. It's the cookie shop next door to the washer. They busting at that moment. I'm talking about busting. Number shots. Two fucking cars full of niggas. Pull up. Oh, you don't want Two cars full of niggas. The Mercedes Benz we see that pulled up in the front and the other car that probably went through the goddamn back door. What are we talking about here? And shout out to my peoples that be commenting on these videos. Because somebody just said recently on my last video, it is a goddamn walk path back in that shop. It's a walk path back there that it takes you up the hill or up the, the, another sidewalk, the street, whatever. It's a walk path. What are we talking about here? My boy got ambushed. Who called them? Who was them? Where the employees at? They timed it. Right when my boy took the call, he walked off. This that white door opened right in front of him. Boom, they started hitting him. They came perfect time. It was an ambush, man. And everything I speak on is allegedly. Okay. But yeah. before you say anything about that, were you there that day? I was not there that day. Okay. I was not. None was of that day at all? Location. No. I was at the other location. I don't know because I seen you on the news. Yeah, yeah. How the hell I see you on the news? A lot of people saw me on the news. I mean that that situation, like like I mean, it have everything happened so fast. We got a phone call, my dad called, told us what was going on. And at first we thought it was somebody in the store, like one of the employees. That's what we thought first, me and my mom, because everything was just happening so fast. He was talking fast. We heard screams. So who was know. at the store that day? Who was working um, that day? It was um, one of my relatives, one of my cousins, and uh, two employees, two female employees. So your mom or dad was not even there at that they location that day? They were not there at the time, no. Okay. No, they weren't. So it just um, headed over there. My relative, my cut, and two employees. Where the hell is they at? Who are y'all? Y'all the main witness of this whole goddamn case. Am I lying? This is a high-profile case. Who took the order? Where y'all at? Why you ran to the news reporter and, and talked for them? You wasn't even there. Who sent you? Come on, man. What are we talking about here? Now, all of a sudden, we get these judges switched up. Judge Coffee get fired. They put a new judge. Go Van, get on bail. He up. Come 
I, I already know how we do over here. I done did these videos over here. It's too much foolery. It's spooky, and it's a circus going on. That's what I told y'all. This takeoff and this young Dolph case about to be unsolved, man. Take off definitely. Sorry to tell y'all. Rest in peace to take, but it's bugged out, man. Young Dolph is going to be a hung jerk. Watch. I feel that it was something that was um, set up. Do you feel that way? And, and you have cameras you know, have in that? Go. Oh, yeah. It's cameras. So everything, so everything is caught on camera. Everything is caught. Everything from the time he walked in, everything is caught on camera. And the police have <laughs> that um, that footage in custody. They have everything. Okay. Yeah. So when when this happened, uh, I mean, you know, I know they got cameras in there and all that, but did they did they confiscate the cameras or did they just ask for copies? No, they confiscated everything in there. Everything in the office they took. Wow. And and so, you know, when when I when I first seen this, I, I'm not I'm going to be real with you. Um when I started researching, because me and you talked, I was like, man, let me go back and look. There's a video where when I put your name in, uh, it pops up with you and you pretty much just showing homage to CMG. Um, I, that video popped up first. I'm not yeah. playing. It I believe like, you. I'm telling you. It's, so it's probably being searched more or whatever. But at any rate, what was that? Was that because uh, we know they had differences. Was it what was the uh, connection with you and CMG? There is no connection. There is no connection. Shout out to Balls Talk 101. Shout out to the female, like I keep saying. She said, before we even start, I'm just going to ask you this question. Were you, was you was even there? No, I wasn't even there. Why the hell you went on a goddamn cloud chase for so long? Man, this just is crazy. And we still didn't get an interview from the goddamn employees that was there. Her cousin and two other employees. What are we talking about here? Where are they at, bro? That's what I want to know. Where are they at? And like I told y'all, Marcus, is he, he was even uh, the dude that was with Dolph, his brother, it was either he's in, in the car or he was in the shop. Because according to the next video I'm playing, he came out, started, he came out, started, you know what I mean, bucking back at him. He had the chopper, but the chopper was in the car. So obviously he had to be in the shop too. And I just showed y'all where Marcus possibly was at. Because it happened so fast. He in the corner hiding over there in the corner on the other side of the cookie shop. That door cracked open. They started bucking at Dolph when he took that phone call and the ambush came from the front. That part, man, what are we talking about? Yeah, so they left on me in the shots out though. Oh, I hear it, man. And look at Mr. Look at the, her father walking up and it's, it's just crazy. It's a circus, man. Yeah, so they left him in the shots out, though. Oh, did you? But I hear it, man. He was, mine letting them up. Drake on loose. Yeah, to he was trying to hit some shit, but... Right, I would have run, run down the street behind the ass with them up. Nah, look, look, look. He's so bugging right now. Why they handcuffing him though? I don't know. Cause he won't, he we won't leave. Stay. Look at our stepfather. He, you know, he was right there standing. I mean, the first time, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, my thing is, man, I don't even care about none of that. Her mom, not, no, listen, there was an elderly, I don't, I don't go in on them. I'm going on the people that was dead. You wasn't there. And that's why I keep continuing going on you because it's like, why are you taking up for the employees for? Why are you speaking up for the people that was in the shop? Who sent you? Was this set up? Was this prepared for you? Was this prepared for when this happened? You already know what to do when you got there. That part. And I'm about to mess y'all head up right quick. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have it. Now, according to the according to the state documents and whatever, according to the feds and all the remember when they said that allegedly they set this up in June of that year when Dolph died in the summertime, right? Remember that? They said they set that up that year they, in June. It was in Miami. This according to that, I mean, you know, the, the homicide and all that, according to the to the feds, nigga. They said that allegedly this was supposed to, this got set up in, in June of that year when Dolph died in November. 
Now remember, she said in this video, she took that video in July. Because that video that I made that people were claiming was done a week before, was not, that's not accurate. I did that video in July. Uh -huh. And Girl. he told me, you know. She did this video in July. Say you came to get some wood. That's all I came for to get some Makita. Makita cook. Get the side. Get the They said the plot was in June. A month before this video, a month before she took this video. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm lying, smash that like button. Y'all just heard it. According to the to the documents of Dolph Def and all that, the way they plotted, according to them, they put out there, and everybody know this. They said they allegedly was in Miami, allegedly supposed to have been in Black Youngster House Mansion or something. If somebody house in Miami, I think it was Black Youngster. They said allegedly the setup happened in June. Dolph died several months later during the fall of November. What are we talking about here? Before Thanksgiving, he died. Am I lying? She took this video. When she took this video? Because that video that I made that people were claiming was done a week before was not that's not accurate. I did that video in July. Oh, and girl. he told me, you know, putting you know, orders like, in. She did that video in July. Now remember when everybody was bombing her saying why you was in Miami in June? Because shout out to the YouTubers and all that. They found out she was in Miami in June around allegedly the time that they supposed to have plot go on um, plot the you know that's um the, the ambush on, on young Dolph. Because they said they did the, allegedly the setup was they, they was plotting in June. This is document. <laughs> this is what the boys said. This is what the people said. This is what the people that's handed in the case. They saying that somebody told them, I guess in the form, the plot was in June. It had if the plot was in Miami. She was in Miami with her little artist. Remember, she said she went down there for a Benzino thing and all this. Trick or trade person went down there. Allegedly, I think that's the dude name. He was going down there to perform. Remember, she had a because she was explaining it. Yo, y'all got it wrong. I was down there for something else. I ain't got I don't even know what y'all talking. Remember, she said that. But then a month later, she had this, she took that video. And then November, it's just kind of funny how this all this works out. That's what I'm trying to say. And then you add the employees. Why are they not getting talked to? Why are they not even talking? Y'all get what I'm trying to say? Y'all got to do the time. Y'all got to do the timeline on this. We between the lines. Now, everything I speak on is alleged, but it's just kind of funny how the plot was in June. You took this video in July. You just said out your own out your own mouth, and then Dolph died several months later in November before Thanksgiving. Dolph took a phone call, walked in front of this goddamn door, walked in front of that door. I show you that white door. They ambushed my boy. Don't it make sense? The plot, uh, the plot is post. The alleged setup was in June. What they told us, the setup, the ambush, off. She took this video in July. Showed no emotions, no feelings, nothing. Not even a tear, not damn coming down our damn eye on none of these interviews I just showed y'all. For a civilian person, only way you showing that type of emotion, you got to be cold hearted, or you got some type of envy towards that person. Like I told y'all a while ago, she's a manager trying to bring out her boy out. Maybe she might have sent some music out the PRE. They shut her down. We don't know. But it's something funny about this whole picture, Ma. Why you wasn't there and you speaking on this, you speaking on this whole situation still to this day. You wasn't even there. Your employees was there, your cousin and two other employees. They don't even talk. We didn't even get a statement. Nothing. Why are we only get a statement from the police for them? Something is funny about this. Are they going to take the stand? I doubt it. When the trial starts next month. Come on. Well, who called my boy when he walked off, took the phone call, and all of a sudden the ambush happened?
Comment in below, man. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. Let me know, man. What's going on here, Memphis? Everybody, what's going on, Smoke Gang? Everybody tapping. I had to do. I had to do a little forty-minute video on this one because it just doesn't make no sense. Rest in peace, Dolph. But like I told you, it's gonna be a hung jury. You got Govain out here doing interviews. Govain did an interview. Govain, what? It's, it's too much foolery going on, man. Judge end up resigning. Like what? And come on. What's going on? Comment below, smash that like button and subscribe and make sure you share the video. It's your boy Smoke News TV. If they know, they know. Salute, gang. Rest in peace, Adolf, man. I'm up out of here.